Hey everyone, what is going on? David here from Unqualified Critics. I wanted to do a quick video on Burger Time. Many of you have probably already seen Retro Ralph did get an early unit uh, to review and we don't have the full review yet, but we do have an interesting camera angle, specifically an angle under the marquee of the plate that holds the speakers. In this case, for the first time ever, we have a speaker under the marquee and it's a single speaker. We all know the Marvel cabinets and everything after that came with stereo dual speakers. Now we have one. You know, what does that mean? I think it means a greater than ever attention to detail to the arcade original hardware from arcade one up because all four of these ROMs that this game comes with are mono games. And so it does make sense to have one speaker. And I really like that they've centered that speaker under the marquee. It would have been maybe easier to put it on one side or the other where they normally drill those holes for the stereo. But under the middle is where it does belong. And that's where this was an original mono arcade hardware. So it is a nice attention to detail, but there's always a but with this stuff. There's always a trade-off. This is a smaller speaker. It's the same size we normally get with stereo, but now we're only getting one instead of two. Past mono cabinets like Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, etc. They had one speaker, but it was a four inch. So it remains to be seen if this single two and a half inch speaker is loud enough. That's a question. Retro Ralph noted in his video that it sounds fine. So presumably it's okay, but I would like to hear it myself and just confirm that this can put out enough audio. Now, the amplification that comes from the PCB is not being split between two speakers. It's all going to one speaker. And that might be the constraint here. It might not be about the speaker. It might really be about the amplification. And if that's the case, one speaker is probably fine. So I think that's cool. I'm with it. But I have to tell you, the more of these arcade cabinets get realistic and true to form, true to their original form, and Burger Time might be setting a high watermark for this. By the way, it's got the mono speaker. It's got the custom side panels. Star Wars had custom side panels, but it had two speakers, even though all three of those ROMs were mono back in the day. So this is newly more authentic, but we still have that blank kick plate on the front with just some logos thrown on. I mentioned it before, and I, I feel this way even more with seeing this product. I'd really like to see some semblance or image of a coin door there. So the front is designed like the front used to look, and it's not just this blank template that we throw some logos. On. And you know, with the first iteration of Arcade One Ops, I never thought that because the products just didn't look all that arcade authentic to begin with. So you don't start noticing these details, it doesn't really matter. But the more these products look legit, and this cabinet looks legit, the more these little details become important to finally complete the package. So that's what I'd like to see in the next wave of cabinets that we get maybe in 2021. But what do you guys think? Do you like having a single speaker? Would you prefer having two, even if it's mono? Uh, if you're interested in Burger Time, order it now. They're going to ship the first thousand on, I think it's March 1st. I've got mine pre-ordered. Looking forward to it. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, let YouTube know so they can spread the word and promote this video to other people. You could do that with hitting like, of course, and leaving a comment. All of that helps with YouTube's famous or infamous algorithm. And if you want to hear more from us, as always, make sure to subscribe below and enable notifications so you know when we have new videos out. See you guys later.